Hello. So this is just going to be a uh, short stream to keep the streak going. Uh, today was kind of a, a bit of a bit of a rough day. Uh, I'll I'll have something proper for tomorrow. Uh, so probably just about an hour. And we uh, re-upgraded back to normal current FAS. Because uh, the Halloween update should be coming out soonish. And I figured I'd better just take care of that. Little mirror. I could just try to throw something. <sighs> Getting this weird. thing again. Maybe it has something to do with the refresh rate. Uh, V-Sync's on. I don't know, something, something is acting a little goofy. Feels like I'm running into an invisible collision. I want to say I was bitching about that last time, but I don't remember. Hey, Cam, how's it going, dude? Hmm. I sworn there was an option for frame rate, but whatever. Eighteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Oh no, that's no good. Uh, I've been a lot better, but thank you for asking. Okay, yeah, this is the room. EMF2, baby. Uh, well, what I mean is, like, things could be a lot better, rather. Like, it's 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 kind of rough right now, but... I suppose it could be worse. Sorry, this is a, uh... Short... Faz stream. Oh, we have orbs. Good. A short fast stream, uh, cause, uh, just due to the shit that was going on today, I wasn't really able to, uh, uh, think of what I wanted to dive into, cause I wanted to dive into something brand new to kind of wash out the disappointment of the Until Dawn remake, uh, Silent Hill 2, and, uh, my hatred of Layers of Fear. Um... <coughs> But I couldn't figure out what yet, and, you know, a bunch of other shit was kind of getting in the way. Today was kind of a, a very, uh, lazy, lackadaisical sort of... Oh, hey, uh, immediate dots, that's cool. Uh... Banshee, you're a yokai, Raiji thing. Young man. 
that city. I believe that's yokai? Yeah. Um I also got a lot of work to do, either tonight or early tomorrow morning, to make sure that we don't uh to make sure I can I can keep some shit ready or whatever. Hey home skillet. It's 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 better than expected. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily. I mean, like it's m mid ish. Like it's not terrible. It's not the worst. Uh, but I mean, I I still am disappointed in it because it exists, and there's no legal way to buy e old Silent Hill two. Um, And also the the online discourse around ye, uh, the the Silent Hill 2 remake is a little uh, a little stupid. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest, how's it going, Home Skillet? Also, Uh, those any anybody who's saying that is is an asshole Everybody's allowed to have a difference of opinion, but anybody who claims that the original Silent Hill 2 doesn't have uh, atmosphere and That the remake is a definitive version and has more atmosphere than the original uh, Is an asshole you can quote me on that. I Like normally I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, everybody is fine. Like people are allowed to like Silent Hill 2 remake That's fine. I'm happy for them uh, People are allowed to like it more than the original if they really want that's fine, but to claim that the original uh, Doesn't have atmosphere uh, They're a fucking asshole and I will die on that fucking hill They are uh, they are a dirtbag and they are everything that is currently wrong with the games industry, and they are the reason why the industry is partly in the state that it's in. James gets salty at, at a bunch of randy graphic sluts. <laughs> yeah, those, those people are assholes. I hate them. And I would also be willing to bet that those people have never played the original Silent Hill 2. Like, it is a, uh... It is a fine enough game, and it's better than ex expected, and it's, uh... Not the worst Silent Hill game ever, but, uh... I, I'm still colossally disappointed with it. It's way, yeah. It's way too combat focused. Way too combat focused. Border bordering on like an action game. Uh, like for context, I, I did I did a breakdown the other night uh, for Ghoul Guts and also uh, for Greedy because uh, she was curious as well. Um, so in ye old Silent Hill two, right? Ye old Silent Hill 2. Um, to get a 10 star rank in that game, um, part of that re is, requires you to kill 150 enemies. <clears throat> I, I believe you, you don't necessarily have to, because, like, if you get high enough point value in another thing that count that that covers it, I don't remember though. But you have to kill seventy five enemies with melee, seventy five enemies right. with um, firearms, like ranged weaponry, right? And a lot of people, when they go for the ten star rank, uh, wind up around about two hundred kills because they wind up farming. The respawning enemies, and they farm like enemies in the overworld, right? Um, on my recent playthrough, 
of Silent Hill, ye old Silent Hill 2 with the Enhanced Edition mod. Uh, and this was me with me killing just about everything, just not farming anything in particular, but killing almost everything that I, I stumbled across, right? I killed a grand total of 67 enemies. Uh, 64 with firearms, 3 with melee. First playthrough, Silent Hill 2 Remake, I killed a total of 355 enemies. And that was with me doing my best to avoid enemies in some combat encounters because combat was such a janky fucking slog that I did, I, and, and there was just so many goddamn combat encounters in the game that I didn't want anything else to do with it anymore. Like, Silent Hill 2 is... Silent Hill 2 Remake is an action game. It's got psychological horror, like a psychological horror story to it. Uh, but it, it's ultimately an action game. Like, also for context cam, uh, in ye old Silent Hill 2, right, they also, like, he, he, one, of the, one of the things, too, is, like, despite the fact that the combat is kind of janky and slow, they also, like, shower you with resources in the original game. Like, a fuck ton of ammo, fuck ton of healing items, right? So long as you, like, just explore, do basic exploration and shit like that. Um, so you, you, you basically be pretty, pretty fucking stacked for almost anything the game throws at you, right? Probably everything the game throws at you, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Um, at least on normal difficulty. I don't know how the balancing is on hard. And I'm assuming it's even, you get even more races, resources on easy. Uh, but... Silent Hill 2 also has a failsafe because uh, the narrative for the devs was more important. Uh, and the devs didn't want players to get to the end of the game with no ammo and uh, get to the final boss uh, only to basically hit a wall, right? So in the... because uh, because also the, 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 the final boss of Silent Hill 1 and final boss of Silent Hill 2 are kind of like flying type enemies. Uh, and the devs were convinced that uh, nobody could beat them with melee. I'm sure somebody has beaten them with melee, but I, I don't know. That's, that's beside the point. Anyways, in the unlikely event you reach the final boss of Silent Hill 2 with absolutely no ammo, shortly after the boss fight starts, uh, the boss just dies. Uh, because the devs just want you to beat the game. Right? So it's like sort of a pity win. Um, that's not a thing in Silent Hill 2 Remake. I didn't necessarily expect it to be, even though that would have been cute to carry over, but it's not a thing, because they designed the final boss of Silent Hill 2 Remake to be a gigantic spectacle fight with multiple phases across multiple environments, and it's just exhausting and completely defeats the entire purpose of the, the fucking narrative. Uh, and the themes, and the atmosphere, and the story, and, you know, all that fun shit that Graphic Sounds claim that Silent Hill 2 Remake has. You know? Again, credit where credit is due. Silent Hill 2 Remake does a few things right. Uh, and it's not completely terrible. It's janky as fuck. It needed more time in the oven, I think, to polish up the combat. It needed, in my personal opinion, uh, some tweaks to the balance and the amount of resources that you can find within a game in a playthrough. Uh, but whatever, credit where credit is due. They credited the entire uh, old dev team, which is a super cool move. Uh, and also apparently Until Dawn, or not apparently, I saw this last night. Until Dawn did that as well. Uh, and then Kat also mentioned that she's pretty sure The Last of Us, uh, Part 1 actually did that as well. So I'm actually really happy to see this. And I hope this is kind of like a new industry standard where the original dev team, the original people who worked on a game are credited in the remake. Uh, I think that's a super, super cool thing. Uh, so again, you know, credit where credit's due. Um, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of stupid shit in the Silent Hill 2 remake, in my personal opinion. Uh, voice acting almost entirely across the board 
is worse. Uh, it's flatter. Um, Eddie is completely mishandled. Uh, it, 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 it even almost kind of feels to me as if, like, they're fat-shaming Eddie. And I mean, yeah, Eddie, Eddie isn't necessarily, like, the most serious character ever or anything like that, right? Uh, although he, he's done some heinous shit. But, like, the new equivalent of the, uh, you, how can you sit there and eat pizza thing is just... It has one minor thing to it that is respectable. But for the most part, it is just, LOL, look at the fat guy. Uh, I will say that I'm genuinely surprised at how well they handled Angela. That was actually nice. Uh, I was expecting Bluebird to completely drop the ball there. Uh, but no, they handled her very well. Uh, the only voice actor I kind of grew accustomed to was uh, James Sunderland. Um, I felt after a while, he worked... Uh, so he, he's like the second best James Sunderland voice actor, uh, at least in terms of a major thing. Guy he see he uh, is still the best, even though I hear Guy see he is kind of an asshole in real life. But you know, whatever. That's uh, and then Troy Baker it just is the worst and doesn't fit the character at all. He's just way too professional sounding. He just it sounds like Troy Baker, you know. Um, yeah! Hey, freezing times. Yeah, I mean, that, <clears throat> that's the thing, too, is like, HD Collection has really, really professional voice acting, because they hired professional voice actors, and everyone is giving objectively good performances it's just it doesn't fit the fucking characters and it doesn't fit the fucking writing uh for me home skillet prob prob probably round about say um if if i were to give it a numerical score of five with five being like average middle of the road not a failing grade but it's like the low scale of average It's not the worst Silent Hill game by any means. It's not the worst Silent Hill product by any means. But, uh, I mean, I guess you could say it's better than the HD collection because the HD collection is fucking trash. Um, but it's not, it, it, it's by no means the definitive way to experience the Silent Hill 2 story. The definitive way, in my personal opinion, is the PC version of Silent Hill 2 with the Enhanced Edition mod. Uh, alternatively, the original PS2 version, if you want to be a super purist. Uh, I don't know how the Xbox version fares, the original Xbox version. Five Shade, Ultraviolet Demon, Won't Be Dots, Ghost Drives Rabbit, Spirit Boxes, Moron. Yeah. Yeah, the direction from what I've seen in the, uh, the, the, the Avengers game is not very good. Um, I, I was, Mary and Maria, I was kind of holding off completely judging until I heard Mary's letter, which is, you know, the final bit of narration in the game. Uh, and I thought her reading of it was really, really flat and lifeless. And Mary's letter is like... One of the most emotionally devastating things I've ever heard in a video game. Like, I adore... 
uh, I, I don't remember the voice actress's name, uh, but like anybody who claims she's a bad voice actress needs to hear her read Mary's letter, uh, and it's just it's just soul crushing, my guys. Right? It's just it's just gut wrenching. Okay, I don't think it's going to be UV. It's just he doesn't sound like James Sunderland at all. He just, it's, he sounds like fucking Troy Baker. And it's like, and again, like, no offense to Troy, he's an, he's an exceptionally talented actor. But, hold on. Uh, that's part of it, yeah. Uh, home skillet. That's that's the chief chief criticism. It is it's one of the worst remasters slash HDifications of a video game ever made. Um, it's damn close to being unplayably buggy. Home skillet, yes. Um, and uh, a lot of aspects of the HD collection are laughable. Um, long story short, Home Skillet, uh, the video game industry kind of was super weird about the concept of preservation. Uh, nobody really thought to kind of do it. Um, so you had a lot of, uh, uh, uh devs and studios, like once a, a game had shipped, um, they just throw the game code away, right? It, it just would get lost all the fucking time. Um, and that's, it's surprise, especially with Japanese games. Um, yeah, that happened all the time. You, you, you name an older game, chances are the code was lost at some point. Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3, uh, were also like that. Um... And so the code for the final versions of the game was lost. And Konami decided to contract uh, uh, an inexperienced developer who had mostly kind of made Wii shovelware because it was the cheapest option to remaster Silent Hill 2 and 3. And the versions of the games that they provided to the studio were like early or mid beta versions of the game. So on top of having to try to finish, like on top of having to try to remaster the games, um, they actually had to re-finish the games. Um, like recreate assets and stuff like that. Uh, as a result, there are a lot of things wrong with the HD collection like the uh, Silent Hill Ranch uh, sign uh, I guess they didn't know what the font was so they just used Comic Sans which is embarrassing uh, the fog was completely fucked up so you could like literally see where the levels ended uh, you'd see past the fog. Uh, there was one infamous bug where, uh, Maria's eye texture was replaced with teeth textures. Uh, it would crash like, whoa. Uh, each time you beat the game, um, the ranking screen would take longer and longer to load. It, like, it, it was just a complete fucking mess, Home Skillet. It was so bad that I believe on... I think they only patched the PS3 version of the game. Uh, and I think Konami allowed people to get, like, a free game as a consolation because of how fucking bad it was. It is definitively the worst way to play Silent Hill 2 and 3. Uh, they might have been updated to run better on the Xbox One or Series X, but I doubt it.
yeah it's um it is it is an absolute dog shit port it is one of the worst remasters ever 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 made um uh, the the other major comparable ones would probably be um, that Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition thing. Uh, you know, the one that launched with as super dog shit. Uh, Warcraft 3 Reforged is another one that everybody hates. You know. Oh, there's the bone. <clears throat> like, I mean, I guess if you can get it for dirt cheap, go for it. And if you want to have a LARF, I think Renzi unironically enjoys the HD collection. Um, despite its issues. Mostly for the convenience of being able to play it on modern hardware, but it does even it also crashes a lot for him, too Like it is a dog-ass port my guy Yep. <coughs> yeah, the Warcraft 3 Reforged was a hot mess from what I hear. Well, also, Cam, if, if, if uh, memory serves, uh... The, 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 the... GTA collection is also done by um, was also done by an inexperienced team because Capcom first or not Capcom Rockstar decided to I guess lowball them for some fucking reason lowball the project let's just shit it out uh, and the biggest offense of the definitive edition is the fact that Rockstar delisted every single previous version of Grand Theft Auto the Grand Theft Auto games uh, because they're a dog shit company Yep. Like, ultimately, I'm like disappointed with the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, and I I still hate the fact that it's called a remaster when it's a remake, right? Um, but at the very least, Capcom didn't delist Yield Dead Rising. You know, they could have, as a lot of shitty studios have. But they didn't. So kudos to them for, for not being shitheads. Marco. Marco. Goodbye. Oh, it's a shed. Thank you. That tracks. Yeah, I mean, if you're morbidly curious, home skillet, and you can get it for dirt cheap, sure. Uh, if you have an Xbox, I'd say probably get it there, because uh, you could run it on a Series X. But I know the Xbox, I'm pretty sure the Xbox version was never patched, uh, unless it got, again, one of those fancy new, new patches. Which, I'm maybe it did, I don't know. But the, uh, the HD collection is, is, it's dog water. Absolute fucking dog water. Okay, good. It's not a twin perfect video.
Quinn Perfect, uh, for those who are unaware, is a YouTube channel that is super dedicated and into Silent Hill, and they kind of led this awful misinformation and harassment campaign against uh, Tom Hewlett because they arbitrarily decided that he was to blame for all the problems of Western developed Silent Hill games, and uh, uh, it resulted in him getting a metric fuck ton of death threats. Uh, so I can't say I'm terribly fond of uh, Twin Perfect. Granted, again, that was ten years ago, and you know, who knows, maybe they've changed, maybe they're sorry. Uh, I just think, though, oh, hi. Oh. Get away from me. Faking a hunt on me. Oh, beautiful. That's great. Thank you, devs. Thank you, mobile port. I love it. And then on a different note, uh, they also put out a four-hour Quentin Peaks definitively explained video, and, and my first thought when I saw that title is, you guys are assholes and you're missing the point of Twin Peaks. There's no definitive explanation, and if you claim there is a definitive explanation for everything and anything going on in Twin Peaks, uh, you're a jackass. Sorry. You can have your own theory and be like, hey, here's my theory for Twin Peaks. Uh, but if you claim it's definitive, uh, hey, guess what? You're wrong. Objectively. Because n nobody knows except for David Lynch. And also, it's a four-hour video essay on the topic. So, I don't like that, also. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, it's a good thing I, I'm never gonna ever... If I ever do decide to replay Grand Theft Auto, uh, the PS2 trilogy, I'm never touching the Definitive Edition. I think I have some of the older ones uh, on certain accounts, like PSN or Xbox. Uh, I know I have them on... St or at least I'm pretty sure I have the old ones on Steam. Um... But I'd probably just emulate them. You mean the Silent Hill 2 remake? Yeah, there are mods for it. Uh, but I'm not gonna drop 70 bucks on it, especially because I don't have that kind of money. Like, truthfully, uh, just based on how things have been going the last month or so, if it, if it wasn't for Jeer buying me, uh, the Silent Hill 2 remake, uh, I might not have been able to actually stream it on launch day. There's already a mod home skill that lets you play as CJ from, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Because, of course, there is. And another one that replaces Pyramid Head with, um... Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Because of course there is. Of course. Although the most important mod is uh, that James Sunderland twerk animation thingy. Uh, oh hey, we have dots. So, and not a Goreo. Because I saw it in the room. I'm on a roll tonight of calling people assholes for having a differing opinions. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Benchy, Yurei, Yokai, Rajithai. I mean, somebody's gonna optimize it. 
I am working on the uh, the Platinum for Silent Hill 2 Remake uh, off stream as part of the no commentary Let's Play channel. And I did add Doge and uh, UFO endings to the wheel. Yuri. Uh, but that'll just be one, one, one singular playthrough. Oh, you know, another thing too, which is a little cute, uh, Bloober Team, uh, there's an out of bounds area that, uh, people have, have discovered in Silent Hill 2, uh, Remake. Um, and inside the out of bounds area is a pile of trash, and inside the pile of trash is the uh, Silent Hill Ranch in Comic Sans sign. I was like, that's cute. That's cute. I'm actually surprised Konami let you get away with it. But that's cute. They might not have. So yeah, maybe at some point down the road, uh, whenever I get employed again, or some rich individual decides to simp for me, uh, I might be able to pick up Silent Hill 2 on PC. But that won't be anytime soon. It certainly won't be for this back to ghoul because the only other back to the only other thing for selling Hill 2 is going to be on the wheel uh, and it's going to be uh, UFO doge ending PS5 a lot easier said than done Gino I have mostly been focusing on oh hi how's it going uh, content creation since uh, I got unemployed and uh, it's basically done nothing uh, Every single time I get a subscriber on, or not a subscriber, follower on Twitch, I lose a uh, follower. Uh, so I've basically been consistently hovering around the same number for uh, the last year, actually. I have plateaued. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, I'm grateful for everything. Uh, it's just the facts. Jason Rhodes. Unless some like super rich oil baron discovers my shitty channel and goes, hey, I like the cut of this guy's jib. Or Russian oligarch or. Oh. Uh, whatever rich people do now. Besides be assholes who drive fucking McLaren cars in a fucking hurricane rainstorm uh, while speeding on the freeway and then totaling it and running the risk of uh, actually injuring or killing people while also simultaneously injuring their passenger who uh, is, is like their cameraman and then while their passenger is injured uh, thrust the camera in their hand and be like, bro, you gotta fix this! Uh, I'm referring to... Jack Doherty? I think his name is? He's some kick streamer. Uh, and he is a colossal piece of shit. Uh, he's been, uh, I had heard of him before. And what I heard was he was a piece of shit. And then over, like, the weekend or whatever, uh, he became an even bigger piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard about that, and my first thought was, wow, this kid is uh, a gigantic piece of shit, and I, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, uh, hope that the judge throws the fucking book at him. 
whatever the maximum prison sentence is, uh, I hope he gets it. I know he won't, but I hope he does. Uh, I don't want it to be a fine, <clears throat> because I'm sure he'll be able to pay for that. I want him to serve jail time. Because he is a colossal piece of shit who could have gotten somebody fucking killed. Yeah, basically. Fucking using your phone while fucking speeding along the fucking highway in a goddamn hurricane rainstorm. Uh, you're an asshole. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe, Raiju. Maybe you okay, Unreal? No, 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 no. Maybe, Mare. Yeah, I heard he's got banned off kick, uh, and that's good, and I hope he's pre uh, preemptively banned everywhere. Asshole should not have a platinum for content creation ever. Especially because he's just a fucking douchebag. Yeah, he's fucking, he's fucking e-begging. Dude's a fucking multi-millionaire. And he's fucking e-begging. Should I have the camera out? Homie's just a, a piece of shit. This asshole likes the hey, there we go. It's a ride you. Alright. Got time for one or two more. Uh well I hope that's the case. Uh I hope he's poor. And I hope his passenger sues him. And I hope the judge throws the book at him. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. <sighs> We've arrived. 
Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. Kim Birch. I think that's just a Twitter rumor. I think because I, I tried to look up and I could not find any article about that. Or any any sauce about that. But who knows? I mean people are very stupid. Uh, Twitter was absolutely a mistake. Social media in general was a mistake. Facebook is a mistake. Instagram is a mistake. Tumbl Tumblr is maybe the biggest mistake. MySpace was a mistake. LiveJournal is a mistake. Every, every social media platform is an absolute fucking mistake. More Orbulons. Absolute dog shit content. Dog shit platforms. With, uh... Some of the most toxic pieces of shit on there. Every now and then there's... It has its moments. But they're few and far between. Good. Uh, I hope whoever that person is uh, who tied their dog to a fence and left the dog there to die uh, is found and uh, has their head caved in. Or alternatively, they drag the person back there and tie that person to a fence and leave them there to die in the hurricane. I am very glad the dog is safe. Getting attacked. Could be a mimic. Very yokai unreal mimic. I don't normally wish for a stranger to die, but when I do, it's because they did something heinous like that. I hope they get pinned in a storm surge and are stuck like the dog would have been and then drown like the dog would have. I want them to suffer the same fate that the dog was going to suffer. So what's my sanity? 87. looking for anyway um ultraviolets would be mimic wait 
Yeah. Uh, EMF no. Hold on. EMF no. Ultraviolet mimic. Ghost riding as mare. Freezing temps is on rail. Dots is yokai. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Apparently some other asshole influencer uh, is in the storm area and they were like, well, I'm not evacuating. I'm fine with just dying. And I'm like, wow, you're, you're a dumbass motherfucker, but cool. You know, whatever. You do you, I guess. Have fun dying. You fucking donkey. Apparently said said influencer has a has a, a long history of uh, scamming her fans. Uh, so, you know what? Uh, fuck her. Also, we fucking incense the goddamn area. What do you mean? You fucker. Did the ghost move? No. La 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 Yeah, take your pet with you. Don't leave your pet to fucking die in a goddamn hurricane, you piece of shit. La la la. I don't think it's a yokai. Oh, wait a minute. We have writing. That's a mare. That's fucking. barely as noticeable writing, whatever. You know, I forgot to remove Zach Baggins, uh, but, you know, it's fitting. I'm fine with him being there. Alright, we'll do one more, one more, last one, last one, for real, for real. <clears throat> yeah, home skillet. Uh, if you ever want to play Ye Old Silent Hill 2, if you haven't already, uh, my recommendation would be the Enhanced Edition. I can link you how to set that up if you're interested. Since you legally cannot buy Silent Hill 2 on PC. Unless you track down some asshole who is selling their used PC copy uh, on eBay or whatever for like 500 bucks because they're an asshole. Well good, we have a summoning circle. <clears> Hmm. <throat> 
<clears throat> I will. I mean, yeah, no problem. Well, good. If you know how to get it, then you're set. It's pretty easy. Okay, I've been everywhere and there hasn't been any goddamn cold temps. Wait, did I go in here? I think I did. Yeah, it's been, like, toasty the entire time. Was it just in here? It wasn't cold. But I guess it's in there. His name was Skillet. He was a Skullet. Not for you. Now just open something over there. Living room? 12.2 12.9 15 Very confused as to where this asshole is. But they're a wanderer. Or the twins. I did. Fucking finally. It only took them, as you said, like 90,000 years. I, I never understood why Red Dead was not released on PC. It was an untapped market. Much requested. But, to be fair, Home Skillet, publishers and developers have brain damage and they hate money. So why so many Where the fuck is this thing? That's why so many publishers and developers don't take the easiest goddamn option that would print them money. Maybe not like billions and billions of dollars, but it wouldn't cost much. We have no evidence, but it killed the breaker, so it cannot be a gin. I don't remember where the breaker was. I think it was in the garage. Hey, we have UV. It cannot be the twins, but it could be the Mimic pretending to be the twins. Yes, Konami is, is one of the, uh, one of the companies I would refer to as, uh, being brain damaged who hates money. They're slowly coming around. But again, one of the easiest things they could do to print money would be a proper Silent Hill port compilation. But even if they don't want to put in the effort to do that, right? Is 
the easiest thing they could do is just slap Silent Hill 2 and 3 on GOG. Because the PC ports already exist. I had to guess that would probably be EMF5. Uh, why is that? Genothan. Money laundering? Oh yeah, that checks out too. I wouldn't be surprised. That's why, uh... You're a dining room ghost? But there was no cold temps there. I mean, there was no cold temps anywhere, but still. Banshee, Hantu, Obeik, or Mimic. Apparently, yes. It's it's even sillier too, Home Skillet, because uh, the only thing that's stopping Bloodborne from running at 60 frames a second on uh, PS5, or even a, I think a PS4 Pro, is a single line of code. So it could be a super fucking tiny small ass patch, and Sony just doesn't want to do it. Two-star interaction. I'm gonna say it's a mimic or obeik and then we're gonna dip. No. Oh. Tomorrow morning I gotta do because I'm gonna I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'm not in the right headspace too. I gotta record that Silent Hill 2 thing and also probably Demon Souls for Saturday. I'm gonna guess mimic. Oh, it was a banshee. Oh my god. What the fuck was the banshee doing in other fucking rooms and not following me around? Yeah, no, it's it's that simple. Uh, a hacker uh, already figured that out uh, a few years ago. Uh, and they, they held off on releasing a fan patch because they're like, Sony's bound to release a, a patch to make it 60 frames on PS5, right? They're doing so many different... Uh, PS5 patches for PS4 games. They're gonna do it, right? And then they never fucking did because Sony is a bag of dicks. Uh, so the hacker released the patch. So if you have like a, a, a uh, jailbroken or whatever the equivalent is, PS5, you can play Bloodborne in 60 frames a second right now. Or if you emulate it on PC because it's finally can run on PC via emulation. Not in the best shape, but still. Anyways, uh, y'all take care of yourself. Stay safe. Be excellent to each other. I'll catch you all next stream. Goodbye.